Hello and good day everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Randy Picks TV. Today we have here a uh, stick mixer, Robocoop MP550 Ultra. So we will going to change the uh, uh, driving shop. Okay, the part number for the driving shop for Robocoop MP550 Ultra is uh, part number 39343 driving shop MP550 model so it is a driving shop with the part number of 39343 and also we will going to change the uh, the blade for the blade the part number is 39345 so 39345 the other one is 39343 for the driving shop okay so this is the driving shop and this is for the blade as you see here the blade comes together with the with the seal and the blade itself Okay, so let us start opening now the uh, unit so we could uh, I could able to show you how easy it is to uh, service and replace this so first we will remove the bell of the blade because this thing has uh, vibration and noise okay so we remove the blade the next step step is we will going to remove the motor so I pre uh, open this in order for us to quickly uh, uh, open and understand how it is easy to uh, open this unit so the first thing we need to do is to make sure the uh, power is disconnected for safety and uh, using a uh, flat screwdriver we can simply open this cover here like this okay on both side and then uh, with the allen key using uh, allen key torx 20 we can uh, easily open this uh, screws okay both sides so once this thing is open you can simply pull it out help reopen it so that it will uh, not take so much time this is just for illustration so we have opened this using a, a Torx 20 or Allen key I mean Torx 20 then you can pull out the motor okay and then disconnect this and also this then you can separate this easily next step is we have to pull out this motor fart from the uh, in the driving shop housing so just simply slide it out okay once it is slide out you can see here that there is this connecting shop the uh, rotor shop and the drive shop which is inside so since our mission is to open this uh, drive shop the driving shop you will going to replace the new drive shop it has its special tools inside okay which uh, we're going to use here to remove the um, the old driving shop from inside so uh, as you see here the part number is 39343 Robocoop 
for MP550 driving shop. So for the driving shop 39343 and for the uh, for the blade 39345. Okay. So we're going to take this uh, special tool so we can use to open and remove the driving shop. So see here this is the tools for the tool to press the lock from here like this so that the lock will disengage okay and you can find inside uh, parts catalog for instruction how to replace so here the instruction for the uh, driving shop and the instruction also to replace the uh, the blade okay so now we will proceed to open the driving shop so using a hammer and chisel with the uh, special tool okay so see here the special tool just simply clip here and press and then after pressing we can simply punch the driving shop from here from here inside here so we'll use a chisel to punch this outside okay so i press here and then put the chisel here and with a hammer okay so as you see here these things come out the old driving shop okay so we're going to remove this uh, uh, part here where we can install the new driving shop okay so how to fix this uh, first you have to clean the uh, the uh, driving shop housing make sure that uh, it is hygiene enough because we are using it for food production and uh, uh, take note that it has this uh, uh, locking system here okay on this part on this part and here so this should match up over here okay so here it should match up on the hole here and the hole here as well now that we have opened the uh, old drive shop we can uh, verify to make sure that they are exactly the same just to verify so as you see here they are all the same length, same dia, and same fixation. So we'll now start to fix it over here. Before we insert this inside the uh, driving shop uh, housing, make sure that this coupling part is well tight. So using a vice grip, you can simply grip this. And uh, with the special tool, this is also from Robocop, we can use this to tight the coupling. Okay. So once we make sure that this is well tied, we can start now to insert it inside.
Okay, so we are going to start now inserting this inside the uh, drive housing. Uh, pointers to remember these two lock rib should match here and here. And this this part this part should match over here so this is our reference this part should match here and the other part should match over here so we'll insert now okay so as i said this part will match over here and this part will match over here so make sure that they are properly aligned so it will lock on the housing properly okay so this is our match up match match point here and here okay now we have to push it using this special tool from Robocoop and with our uh, hammer Okay. Notice this that this is already well insert inserted because the lock is already there and as well as here and also here. Okay. So see now that this is uh, easily we can turn as it's already fit properly. Okay. So now we can reassemble this back to the housing. So the first thing we need to do is to insert this back over here. So we have to match this the 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 guy to fix this is this two uh, screw thread should cross match over here and here since they are having the same distance and uh, previously before I dismantle this I put a marking so that I can easily cross match it and make sure that uh, this driving shop and this uh, rotor shop is properly connected the easiest way is you find the slot over here inside okay you need to center this over here there is a slot you need to center this over here so and this should center as well on your here in the middle of the screw over here okay so once you are sure that they are all aligned you can simply insert like this and then turn the wheel Once you turn this, you see that the impeller or the blade is turning as well. So that means it is cross match. Okay, then we can start now fixing the, the cover. Okay, so we have fixed it. So we have to bolt it this way. And we're going to fix over here like this. Remember that there are uh, two socket and uh, two coupled socket for the speed controller. Don't forget to fix it before closing the cover. So reference is always to mark this screw here so it will cross match on the other screws. And this should always be aligned on the slot inside the drive shop. And using your uh, torx you can simply close it this way
the same thing on the other side we put the screws make sure that they are all tied Okay, once it's tied, you can check now the rotation. See if I turn the feather here, the blade should, the uh, motor blade or the motor pan should turn as well. So if I, if I counter here, okay, they are well secured and connected. Okay, so after we assembled it and tied all the screws here now it's time to fix back the cover this uh, bent grill on both sides okay now it's time to start and try so we will going to plug this okay now power is on then press this and then start as you see now the blade is turning and we uh, solved the problem of our noise and vibration Okay, so since this is okay now we can uh, proceed for the bell uh, for the bell blade replacement. So we keep this aside and proceed for the bell blade. So using this special tool, this side is for the blade. So make sure that it's matching here on the blade because this will be the, the tool to stop the blade while we are opening the, uh, the lock here or this connecting, uh, connecting joint. So using this uh, special tool, we can open this by inserting, this will going to match up here inside. Okay, so like this, then clockwise. So now we have opened it. This is the part that we have removed because normally this is getting worn out. So the new part it has this new bell uh, connector or the coupling. Okay. So, the next step is we need to punch this out. Again, using our uh, chisel, pointed chisel, we can simply push this blade shop out. Okay, so this is the blade. Now the next step is we need to remove the this uh, bearing housing because we will going to replace it completely. Okay, so what we need to do is open this and then we will push it out. Okay, so after we uh, remove the blade We'll spray some WD-40 inside over here and then using a number 18 socket you can simply insert it here and then hammer it down. Like that. Okay. So we have removed it. 
now that we have removed the old uh, the old uh, blade housing or the blade bearing we can now uh, clean the uh, the uh, blade housing so that we can easily fix the new part okay so make sure that is uh, clean properly so that uh, will not have any obstruction while we are fixing the new uh, blade housing okay so let us cross match now the new part they are uh, they are really uh, identical okay so this part it will go inside here here like this okay so now we will going to fix it so make sure that this guide and this slot will match up okay so like this and then we will going to hammer it down same like we did using the socket number 18 so uh, I have noticed here that it's better to use socket number 21 as it's really fit on the whole surface of the uh, blade housing okay so we fix it here and then hammer it down till it reach here flushing with this housing okay so now it is uh, uh, properly sitting here we can now fix the rotor blade okay so we're going to fix it this way and fix the new connecting uh, coupler like this Again, using the special tool from Robocop, we will going to fix this pack like this and tight this in a proper type. Okay, so now it is tight and secured using this. Now we're going to check. Okay, so it's perfectly well. Okay, and then we can connect over here. Okay, so after we replace the uh, uh, blade and also the uh, drive shop, we're going to test it now. So we press here, lock, and then start. is perfectly okay no vibration no uh, abnormal sound it's just the impeller okay so thank you for watching i hope you like the video and you learned something if you like please like and subscribe and share thank you so much god bless randy pix tv